Oh, okay, so you're gonna come over when Mo's calling you? Dear God, not only is this outfit a catastrophe, but like, what is wrong with her face? Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge episode 19, right? Yeah, yeah? Can't believe we've been doing this challenge for so long. However, I do think it's kind of sad that it's taking me almost 20 episodes to finish the mint gen because I see a lot of other Let's Plays that are like a lot faster than mine. So I apologize if you're bored and I take a while. I just tend to like play slower than normal, I feel. So thank you for sticking with me. We just aged up Garnet in our last episode, so I think we have to do a little bit of a makeover to her bedroom. So that might be one of the first things we do today. Um, It's not that bad. I just feel like we could make it a little bit more like teenage girl vibes. So we'll go ahead and send them off to school and work on the makeover. Actually, I don't think that Garnet will be going to school because she aged up right before school. So I don't think it's going to send her. Carmen, however, is going to have to go to school. So, oh, and in between episodes, I gave Garnet a few extra outfits and I showcased a few of them on my fan house. So you might see them as, you know, the days go by and she'll change into them. Did you grab a piece of cake? I don't know. Grab a piece of cake, Bessie. It's your birthday. Oh, the whole family's hanging out in the living room together. We love to see it. Now, there's a high chance that Clover is going to get promoted when she goes to work today, so I'm pretty excited about that because we are almost to level nine, and it's about time that we have Clover finish her career, you know what I mean? We're almost officially done with the mint gen. A lot of you really liked Garnet's makeover, by the way, and that made me really happy because she's probably one of the prettiest sims I've ever made, so thank you for your feedback. I really like her. Have a good day at school, Carmen. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work on Garnet's bedroom now. Like I said, this bedroom is absolutely adorable. I just think that it could use a little bit of work. Let's start by maybe showing that she's gonna be focusing on politics. So we're gonna get rid of like all of these kid items. And I might actually see if I can fit a double bed in here. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know. I guess her having a desk is probably still a pretty high priority. So I think I'll, I'll let that stay. What's something a kid getting into politics? would have. I don't know. Um, hmm, time to think about this for a moment. She's also super romantic. I think I have to get my charisma skill up, but I do have this mirror here, so we should be okay with that. I could just put a bookshelf in this corner here. Maybe she's trying to read up on things. All the red bookshelves are ugly, so I'm just gonna go with this one because it says it's red. And we can put like a little poof here in case she wants to sit and read her book. I think that's kind of cozy. Maybe I'll get rid of these music posters and put something up a little bit more, I don't know, what's the word for it? Not prestigious, but something that looks a little more mature on the wall, maybe? Yeah, those paintings look mature, I guess. <laughs> Whatever that means. And do you think she would get rid of her ladybug rug? I feel like maybe now that she's growing up, she's like, Mom, I don't need the ladybug rug anymore. So I think we're gonna toss it. As much as Shella doesn't want to get rid of it, I think Garnet would get rid of it. She's kind of prissy. She'd also probably try to afford a better chair and lamp. Oh, that hurts me. I really like that rug. Yeah, that's that's a little more mature. And I'm gonna go ahead and get her a laptop as well. And it's red, so it's perfect. I think that's better than her mom's laptop, so. A lot of different tones of red in here, but you know what? I think it works. We'll go ahead and leave this. When she moves out to get her own place, she can definitely, like, customize things a little bit more. Oh my god, why do you hate me? Marley, why are you being so mean to me? What did Clover do to you? Let's try to, like, remedy that. Mo's really excited about that. Mo, do you still not know the Reparo spell because this toilet is disgusting. I guess not. That's unfortunate. That's one of the best spells to know. Garnet's getting a call. Oh my god. I'm literally, this just scared the absolute crap out of me. I forgot that there's something wrong with Harmony. Should we go look into that? Maybe, maybe we can invite over Harmony today. Uh, I'm gonna send Clover alone, so good luck, Clover. Oh no, and our bills are 2,300 simoleons. Maybe I should not have spent as much on my things today. And follow Father Winter is congratulating me on being friends with Wayne. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Father Winter. I appreciate it. All right, Mo, go pay those bills. That's gonna suck. And then, yeah, let's see. I don't know if Harmony will be able to come over today, but let's see if we can invite her. She might actually be at school, so we'll see if she comes over. Oh my god, what is wrong with her? She looks horrific. Okay, yeah, she's coming over. Harmony, where are you? You know, they look kind of cute yeah, together because Moe's thing is all pink and then Garnet has a bunch of like reds, so they look good together. 
Like mother, like daughter. I love them. This family is so fun to play. Now where's Harmony? Hey, where are you? Excuse me, don't walk all the way over here just to yell at my dog. That's really rude. I don't know if it's bugged or what, but I don't see Harmony, so maybe I'll try calling her later. So one of the things that Garnet is going to need to learn is charisma, so I'm gonna go ahead and get her started early. Let's have her start practicing her speech now, because she's 100% gonna need it for her romantic aspiration and also the politician career, so better start early. Where the heck is Harmony, though? I'm getting worried. Is she messed up? Maybe I can, like, bring her over this way. Harmony! Yoho, come here. Let's see if this will work. Something is not right here. I can tell you that. Oh, okay, so you're gonna come over when Moe's calling you? Dear God. Not only is this outfit a catastrophe, but, like, what is wrong with her face? That's not just me being mean. I don't know what's wrong with her face. I'm gonna go into cast and see if we can fix her because this is not how things are supposed to go. Oh my god, she has the Batu aspiration? Absolutely not. If there's one thing I'm not letting my sim randomize, it's the Batu aspiration. Her face is bad enough. She aged up with geek and, and cheerful, so I'm just gonna give her something that goes with that. She's gonna be a gamer. <laughs> you got this, Harmony. So I just looked in skin details for this, and this isn't anywhere in skin details. However, if I, like, X out of this, it goes away. So I guess that's good. I have to give her her freckles back now, though. I don't mind that. We can deal with that. No, without all of that weird wrinkly stuff, she looks absolutely stunning. I'm really excited to give her a makeover. All right, and this is Harmony makeover version, and I kind of just you know, gave her some townie outfits. I didn't spend too much time on it, so they're like pre-made style looks for the most part, but I think she looks, you know, a little bit better than she did coming in here. So I randomized her likes and dislikes, and she dislikes purple, so Harmony's now my enemy. Apparently she likes Latin music and robotics. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. She's a geek, and she really likes suburban contemporary. Why? Out of all the things, out of all the things she had to dislike purple. Well, I'm just feeling personally attacked now by the Sims. All right, well, hello, Harmony. I'm glad to see that you're doing okay now. Let's go show off our new outfit to her. And then we'll go continue working on our charisma. I think it'd be really cute of us to take a selfie with her, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. Let's take a selfie together. They're so cute. I love them. The, the cousin relationship we have here. Take a selfie with me! Oh my god, Garnet is so freaking pretty. I'm sorry, this is too much. She looks incredible. Harmony's cute too, but like, Garnet is on a whole other level. Well, now we'll have selfies with our cousin forever. Let's see if any of them turned out okay. Oh, Garnet just straight up is autonomously doing your homework. You know what? Go off, bestie. Okay, yeah, some of these turned out okay, but three of them got gnomed, so we'll just sell those. <laughs> I'll just hang that on our wall for now. Maybe we can put it above our fire bed. That's so cute. Oh, or I can put it on my desk. Wait, that's cuter. You know, Harmony looks so much like Mo. Not this face that Mo is making, but like, you know, don't they look very similar? I guess it's because Harmony is her brother's daughter, so they have a lot of similarities, but... They just look almost identical, like they could be sisters. All right, Garnet has already done her extra credit. Oh no, what is this? I'm gonna have to clean this now. <laughs> and apparently Mo has a good reputation, which, you know, makes sense. Mo is a very good person, so it checks out. All right, Carmen's home from school with a school project. That's not bad. I usually struggle with having my sims do the school projects though, so I don't know if I'll have her do it. You know, she shouldn't look so delighted to be cleaning this toilet, but like, she looks like she's having a great time. <laughs> like, that is the p the face of pure joy right there. Carmen, why are you coming into your sister's room to do your homework? You have a desk in your own room. Whatever. It's fine. It's The Sims. All right, not to brag, but we are, uh... 15% of the way to charisma level two with Garnet here, making great progress. I really hope that Clover gets promoted today. It's gonna be really big if she does. Oh my god, you know what? I totally forgot that Carmen is a spellcaster. That's gonna be so weird when she ages up. I like didn't even cross my mind. Oh my god, Major, I will not come duel you at the magic ground. You need to stop. You really need to stop. Uh-oh, we're having a moment. And I had some comments in the chat that were like, not in the chat, oh my god, comments in the YouTube section where they were like, yeah, you can have her write in the diary. So maybe I should buy one of those for her. Will this work for teenagers? I guess we'll find out. We'll give her a red one. Or maybe, maybe I'll leave it pink because she's a serial romantic. Oh my god, your angry poop just broke the toilet. 
Way to go, Garnet. That's disgusting. We're gonna go scribble furiously, though, so hopefully this puts us in a better mood. She'd be stomping! Uh, calm down, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, seeing all these pictures with Clover's friends makes me miss them. Oh, and this sink is broken, too? Everything is breaking. Oh my god, Clover just got home from work. Promoted to mad scientist. We got 215 per hour. Oh wait, no, that's our new wage. We received... 1,500 simoleons and some new clothes! Yes, way to go, Clover. That's exactly what we needed from you today. Very good, very good. Oh my god, this sink in here is broken too. Let's uh, expert repair that. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Alright, you're feeling better, bestie. That's good to see. Let's have you eat some dinner. There's gotta be something in this fridge that you'll like. Mo just summons it all the time. Her outfit is now like a black suit instead of a white one. That's cool. Mo, how are you doing? She's just chilling. Nothing's going on. Head empty. I love how instead of eating inside, she comes and chooses to eat her spaghetti out here. <laughs> She's in a romantic mood. Ooh, what if we see if we can go on a date with Wayne tonight or something? Not that I'm saying they should date, but like maybe they could hang out and see if they're into each other. I don't know if it'd be weird to invite him over to our house. I mean, I guess we could. Let's see if he'll come over. Oh my god, what is going on in here? Absolutely not. I don't know what's happening right now, but you need to stop. I need to give him a bath, to be honest. Okay, Hey, Wayne's coming over. I'm excited. I think Garnet has had a crush on him since she was younger, so now she's old enough to actually act on those feelings. Oh, here he is. Oh no, he's bored. Um, let's ask if he wants to swing because we don't want him to be around our lame family. I'm sorry, are you going in for a kiss, ma'am? This is a big moment. Not really. It was just a greeting kiss, but like kiss. <laughs> she is in a super flirty mood. Oh, he's very sad. I actually, I wonder what's wrong. Maybe we can cheer him up. Okay, it doesn't look like he's coming over to swing with us. Um, That's a little weird. Garnet's like, I'm waiting. Come swing with me. Come here. Bestie, what's got you down? This isn't good. Let's complain about our parents to him. That's something Garnet would do. Oh, they're sitting on the swings together. I love that. Let's ask him about his love life. Oh, this is gonna go terribly wrong, I bet. This is not gonna go well. Oh no, but she's so flirty. She's in a romantic mood. Maybe we can ask him to stargaze with us? Marley, go away, you're ruining our mood. Marley, he's over here growling. Why is he doing this? All right, this is adorable. I'm in love. I really wish we could cheer him up, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Also, we're kind of tired, so there's not much we can do tonight, but I thought it'd be fun to hang out. Okay, you have an entire bed upstairs and you have decided to sleep on this bench instead? I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works, Mo. Okay, Clover's having a good time in there. Ooh. Okay, Marley, you're really messing this up. <gasps> Oh no, he's not doing well. Marley, you need to calm down. Lecture about attacking, please. He's being so protective over Garnet right now. It's cute, but like, stop. I'm trying to hang out with Wayne. Did he just curl up at her feet? He's like, no, I'm not letting my human be alone with this strange boy. Oh, his heart is broken. <gasps> Was someone mean to you, Wayne? Oh, what's that? Marley has learned not to attack. Okay, thank goodness. It only took that long. Um, maybe we can try to cheer him up a little bit? We can try to brighten his day. Garnet is also very tired, by the way, so this is not going well. Hey, this is my sister's bedroom. Can you all leave? Like, she kind of needs to go to bed. It's almost midnight. Wrong bedroom, Wayne. Yeah, I don't know. He's just in a bad mood, so I don't know if there's anything we can do to really push him up. Push him up? No, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, make him feel better? Anyways, you can go home, Wayne. We'll ask you over another time. Sis, you can come downstairs. It's safe. Bye, Wayne. I hope you feel better. You know, he was always such an angry kid as a child. I wonder if we know any of his traits. Is he also hot-headed like us? We don't actually know yet if he is hot-headed but that could be a recipe for disaster in their dating life if they are both uh, a little bit quick to anger. I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things play out. Oh, it is hot in here, isn't it? I'll have someone come turn this down. Good morning, everyone. It's time to wake up. All right, Garnet has her first day of high school today. We really need to make sure that this goes well for her. Otherwise, she's going to be in a bad mood for a while. Also, all of our items in our fridge are almost gone, so we're going to have to start summoning some more food here. Oh, nice. Okay, Clover had a breakthrough. That's good. 
We got the smart serum. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna get everyone ready for school today. It's gonna be a good day. Um, maybe not for you, Garnet, because you are literally so stinky right now. Um, this is not gonna go well. Her first day of school and she smells like soot. Well, do your best, okay? We love you. That's our air. That's, that's our air. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, Carmen is super excited to turn in her dolph dolphin poster illustrations, photos, fun facts. It has it all. But all of the kids are crowding around another kid's poster, which shimmers with silvery detail. Carmen could say she forgot hers and then add more stuff at recess. Oh, um, yeah, you know what? She might lie to improve it. Let's see what happens. Carmen stashes her poster in the hall, sneaking a silver pen from the art supplies. She covers the poster in shiny swirls and fish during recess. The teacher ooze, hem. The teacher ooze and oz over the improved poster, giving Carmen the extra stars for the effort. That's what we love to see. No, I'm gonna send her alone. Dang it, I missed the call. I don't know who was calling. Mo, but I guess now we'll never know because too many things popped up at once there. Have a good day at work, Clover. Hopefully she does well today. I think me not going to work is helping her gain skills faster because turns out tormenting your coworkers makes it more difficult for you to get promoted at work. Who would have guessed? Not me, to be honest. No, I don't want to join Party House. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, time to make some food. And by that, I mean summon food. Come on, we gotta summon something vegetarian, Mo. Let's do this. Keep working. Ooh, Fatia's asking us to hang out tonight. You know what? Sure. Let's go to the nightclub and see what happens. Nightclub with Mo. It's been a while since we've hung out with our besties. Knowing my attention span, I probably won't be here for long. So, uh, we'll just hang out for a little bit and then probably leave. Fatia, your summer outfit is so cute. Who's this sim getting down in here? Oh, it's Kayla Fleming. Oh my gosh. And then Alex Moyer's running the bar. This sim is immortal. It's kind of scary. <laughs> We're just having a good time. I don't think I'm going to stay here for too long. Eating some french fries. What a great time. Oh no, there's some angry men at the bar. I'm not having a good time anymore. Is that- I'm sorry, is that Mila Munch? No, okay, that's not. I don't know why I thought that was Mila Munch. I think it's the hair. I was like, there's no way that's Mila. Oh yeah, remember when we made this tent appear here instead of the fountain with Clover? I remember. Apparently Mo is playing in there. You know what? <laughs> Each their own, I guess. Oh, Carmen's an A student. Garnet is not an A student yet, but we should probably go home to our kids. Goodbye, Fatia. Thanks for having me. They're gonna show up at home and be like, Mom, where were you? And she's gonna be like, oh, you know, at the at the club, playing in a tent that was pitched in the courtyard. <laughs> Why are we so mad? Oh, unpleasant social conversation. You know what? That's valid. All right, girls, let's do your homework before you get any food today. That sounds a little mean, but, you know, we like to be efficient here. The homework bench. <laughs> also, apologies if you can hear clicking in the background. My turtle has decided that now is the time he would like to dig his new burrow in his tank, so he's working hard. We gotta respect the grind, you know? Ah, nice. We made some grilled cheese. That's good. At least it's something Clover can eat. I'm hoping again that Clover performs well at work today and hopefully we'll be able to get promoted to level 10 within, if not this episode, tomorrow's episode. Why did I say tomorrow? Uh, it's going to be a week from today. Wait, not today. I don't know when I'm recording this. <laughs> I have officially confused myself. Next episode. I should just say next episode. Why am I making this so difficult? All right, Bestie, you still smell really bad. So why don't you go take a bath? All right, Clover just got home and it looks like she is now in the good performance for her career and we just need to have another breakthrough. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking next episode's going to be a Rose Gen officially. Now that doesn't mean that we're going gonna get rid of Chloe and Mover. Chloe and Mover. I said it again. Oh my gosh. Clover and Mo. They're still gonna be here. I don't think Garnet's gonna move out for a while. So they're still gonna be around. It will just be more focused around Garnet as the main character. Are you on your daughter's laptop? I mean, okay. <laughs> do what you gotta do. I'm gonna try to see if I can have her have another breakthrough. And I know you're not having a good day, Garnet, but you really need to do your extra credit homework. So I am once again going to steal your fun from you. Oh, <gasps> Harmony wants to duel us. I mean, I can't say no. I was thinking this was going to be Major asking to duel us. Apparently it runs in the family because all of them want to duel me. You're on. Why, hello there, sweet little niece. Are you ready to duel me? I think we're going to be waiting here for a minute. Any day now. I love how they're wearing like the most casual outfits of all time. All right. I feel like Mo's going to whoop some butt here. I'm not even worried about it. Oh, ouchie. What the heck? Yeah, take that. <laughs> Oh, she's having some issues here. I'm sorry, Harmony. Well, thank you. You dare me to make this the thumbnail? I'm really thinking about it. Oh my God. Got some really good action shots. I'm pretty proud of that. All right, anyways, 
Thanks for the duel, I'm going home now. When will they learn that Mo is just a prodigy? All right, welcome home, Mo. I think you can get ready for bed now. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah, sure, just uh, walk through that staircase real quick. No worries, mm-hmm, thank you. Walk through the wall. And I'm gonna try to get Clover to have a Eureka before bed, so wish me luck. I like that Garnet's using the little poof that I gave her. Um, what's going on? Clover, where are you going? Investigating weird light? Stop. No, we cannot get abducted today. Bestie? Wait. Bella Goth is right outside with the aliens? I'm sorry. This is getting a little weird. What are the chances of Bella Goth walking by as I'm getting abducted by aliens? Am I being set up? I'm gonna have to show this to my friends. Like, this isn't even funny. Alright, I sent them a screenshot. Like, you cannot make this up. I can't believe I got abducted. I really hope I don't get pregnant from this. Glover gets pregnant, I'm gonna freak out. This is not what was on the agenda tonight. How long are you abducted for, Bessie? I mean, she was like curious about clubs apparently, so that made her bored. Well, I bet you're not bored anymore. What a weird coincidence though for Bella Goth to be walking by. Like, being abducted is one thing, but that was so weird to open the door and just see Bella Goth. All right, you're back. Yeah, yeah. It's time for you to go to sleep now. All right, and I think that's enough. I can't really handle much more after that wild adventure. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here for today's episode. And I'm really hoping that tomorrow, um, sorry, not tomorrow, I gotta stop saying that. I'm hoping that next episode, we will be officially moving on to the Rose Generation. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to know when I post new videos. And yeah, I'm excited. This is my first time ever getting this far in the not so berry challenge because it is in fact my first time playing so i'm excited to see what the rose gen is like and i know garnet's romantic life is not that involved yet but it seems as though she has a crush on wayne so we'll have to see what happens next thank you all so much for watching i love you all a lot and i will see you in the next one take care everyone thank you for watching my youtube video i don't know what i'm singing this is my outro but thanks see you next time love you bye